Hey Kumishans, are you a Ben 10 fan? Well this video is just for you, because it's hero time. From 2005 to 2021 you might have watched the whole episodes and even if you are new to Ben 10, you might be wondering how many and what type of Ben 10 aliens are there. So here are every Ben 10 alien ever. Cool! Aliens in Ben 10 Classic. Heat Blast. He is a Pyronite from the Star Pyros. Heat Blast appears to be a magma-based life form whose body is composed of a bright inner magma body covered by a reddish-brown charcoal-like crust. Wild Mutt. Wild Mutt is a Vulcumancer from the garbage planet Vulcan, and appears as a large dog-like creature with no visible eyes or tail. Ultimate Wild Mutt has Wild Mutt's incredible sense of smell and is physically stronger than him. He is also more agile than Wild Mutt, and has an even more acute sense of smell, enhanced hearing, and a sharp tail, claws, and bigger teeth for more effective close-range combat. Diamond Head Diamond Head is a Petrosipian from the planet Petropia. He is a silicon-based alien and possesses super-density molecular structure, making him invulnerable. Diamond Head can control his crystal physiology at will, allowing him to create crude crystal weapons from any part of his body on demand or fire crystal shards from his hands. Acceler 8. Resembling a semi-armored velociraptor, Acceler 8 has ball-shaped feet, scissor-like claws and a retracting helmet with a windshield. He has the ability to manipulate friction to instantaneously reach speeds of 500 miles per hour, allowing him to climb up walls and run on water with relative ease and also have a degree of enhanced strength. Gray Matter. He is a Galvan. The Galvans are a highly intelligent race that are responsible for many of the technologies in the series. Ben usually dislikes becoming Gray Matter due to his small size. He is mostly accessed by accident and a running gag in the franchise is that he is accessed when Ben wants a large, powerful alien. Gray Matter? Seriously? However, as Gray Matter, Ben gains a Galvan's calculative and technical intellect, being able to outwit larger enemies, create almost anything from spare parts, deduce the function of any device at a glance, and analytically help in difficult situations. While the ultimate form of a Galvan, resembling Modok of the Marvel Comics universe with a third eye on his brain-exposed head, it is a form exclusive to Albedo after he resumed his original form and evolved in the ultimate heist. But now... Four Arms. He is from the desert planet Koros, a place which epitomizes a dystopia, resulting in the strength-oriented species. Tetramans are 12-foot-tall powerhouses with armored skin and extremely dense musculature, making them unmatched in pure physical strength. Stinkfly. Combining elements of a wasp, dragonfly and spider which allow them to fly with high mobility and speed, Lepidopterans have four eye stalks that give them a wide range of vision on all sides, and shoot a toxic slime. Ripjaws. He is Piscis Volana he is from a world made of 98% water with solid matter only at its core which houses the planet's gravitational multiplier, the device that holds all water and the beings on the planet. Piscis volans are fish-like aliens that possess the traits of Earth's oceanic fish, with many variations but share a luminescent dangle, an ability to withstand a remarkable amount of pressure and swim at great speeds by combining their legs into a tail. Upgrade. He is a galvanic mechamorph, a race, accidentally created by galvans, Originally an uninhabited satellite, Galvan scientists tried to make Galvan be habitable for colonization by binding self-replicating nanotechnology to Galvan B's minerals. Other than firing positronic plasma beams from its eye, the Galvanic Mechamorph's primary ability is to merge with technology, regardless of size or level of sophistication, making them capable of upgrading or changing it far beyond its original design. Ghost Freak. He is an ectonerite, from the planet Anerphatos. Horrific creatures with a single eye on an upturned skull, long, sharp claws, a striped ghost-like tail, and internal tentacles, ectonerites normally wear a protective skin that condenses their form to resemble ghosts, their single eye moving along a black track on that skin. Ectonerites are able to phase through matter, possess people, turn invisible and fly. Cannonbolt. He is an Arborean Pelorota. Cannonbolt is the first new alien to appear on the Omnitrix, and eventually replaces Ghost Freak in the original series opening. He was originally meant to be one of the original 10 aliens, but was replaced by Diamond Head in production. Cannonbolt is a hulking, broad-shouldered alien covered in natural armor plating, and by curling up into a ball, much like an armadillo or pillbug, he can encase himself in his armor, becoming virtually invulnerable, 
Also in his balled up form, he can roll across terrain at high speeds. As ultimate cannonball, his body is light metallic cyan with a darker shade of gray on his now metallic armor, armor which has cylindrical studs that turn into spikes when he goes into his ball form. In this state, he offers increased defensive and offensive capabilities and also has increased speed, momentum and can bounce even higher. Wild Vine He is from the planet Flores Verdance. Florana are plant-based aliens with tentacle-like roots for legs, and carnivorous plant-shaped flaps covering their heads. Among a Florana's abilities are extending limbs, horns, explosive seeds, merging with other plants and understanding other plant-based beings, and regeneration from near-fatal attacks. Blitzwolfer. Besides superhuman strength and agility, Blitzwolfer can peel back his lupine snout to send out a sonic howl. Besides the color blindness, Blitzwolfer finds it hard to resist his predatory instincts, he is a werewolf like Lobo. Snare O. Originally credited as Ben Mummy in the original series, he is from the desert planet Anor Kufos in the Anor system. Tep Kufans are mummy-like creatures made up of many bandages that function like tentacles and can regenerate from any injury with an apparent immunity to corrodium. However, the downside is that a Tep Kufan is prone to getting wet or burned. Frankenstrike, originally credited as Ben Victor in the original series, is a Transilian from the planet Anor Transil. Transilians are based on the Frankenstein monster, resembling patchwork humanoids with machine parts on their bodies while possessing super strength, agility and durability. They also can generate electricity and blast it at others, adhere to metal surfaces through electromagnetism and survive in the vacuum of space. Upchuck. He is a gourmand from the planet Peptos 11, divided into the dark green colored mercs and the light green colored perks. Gormans are small frog-like aliens with a very large appetite, their four strong and adhesive tongues stretching out to latch onto large objects and swallow whole. Ditto. He is a Splixen from the Earth-like planet Hather. Ditto is a very cute and adorable humanoid child alien with the ability to clone himself limitlessly, but each clone operates independently, regardless of whether or not Ben wants them to, and is indistinguishable from the others, and somehow, he can breathe underwater. I Guy. I Guy is the first alien to have been unlocked off screen, how he was obtained is never addressed. As his name says, I Guy's upper body is covered in eyes, though he ironically has no eyes on his head, he can fire numerous energy beams, the eyes can be merged to create different effects. Way Big. Created by unpredictable cosmic storms. Way Big is 100 feet tall with the ability to move at fast speeds and create a cosmic storm and has invulnerability, a Tokustar's only weak point is his fin, which momentarily paralyzes him. Ultimate Way Big is 300 feet tall, he has a spike sticking up from both his cheeks and his body is blue, red, and white. His head looks similar to Alien X or Ditto, he was used only once to battle in the episode Ultimate Enemy Part 2. Arctic Wana. Arctic Wana is a play on Arctic and Iguana, he is a polar manzardil from the planet Exnel. Similar to Big Chill, Arctic Wana is capable of firing a long-range freeze ray that isolates targets in ice on contact, cold enough to freeze molten lava. The ray can create an icy path that he can skate across in a snowboard-like fashion. Ultimate Arctic Wana is capable of firing a long-range freeze ray that isolates targets in ice on contact. Ultimate Arctic Wana can shoot large columns of ices from his cannons, and propel himself across the ground with their force. Spitter. Spitter is the Omnitrix's DNA sample of a spheroid from the planet Scalfast. Spitter is a green, bulbous alien. He resembles a pufferfish and he has three spikes sticking out the top and bottom of his head. His mouth covers mostly the upper front of him, which is filled with dull-colored, pointed teeth. Aliens in Ben 10 Alien Force. Swamp Fire. He is from Methanos and a living plant alien with superhuman strength and ability to create fire from the methane produced by his body. Besides being able to control plant life and producing seeds that quickly grow into vines, Swampfire also has a vast regenerative ability that allows him alter his own body. As ultimate Swampfire, he is a tree-like version of himself with a heat blast-like face and blue gooey shells containing an organic blue-colored napalm kerosene gel-like solution containing a highly flammable substance that is used to create blue flames, which are more powerful than the normal, and when he puts his hands together, he creates a huge fire blast, he can also shoot fire bombs. Echo Echo. He is from the planet Sonorosia. Sonorosians are living sound waves, 
and because of such echo echoes appearance as a containment suit, he is a small white silicon-based alien whose body is a living amplifier. He can scream at ultrasonic frequencies, he also has the ability to duplicate himself, but unlike Ditto, the clones are not linked in any way and can revert even if all duplicates are not reintegrated, which splinters the original's personality. As Ultimate Echo Echo, he is a blue, taller, with longer arms, and is a more robotic version of himself whose mouth doesn't move when he talks, but can be opened. Instead of Ultimate Echo Echo, shouldn't your name be Ultimate Echo Ultimate Echo? In this state, Ultimate Echo Echo is unlike his regular form, in that he cannot duplicate himself anymore but he can now shoot sonic screams and sonic waves from discs, which are situated on many parts of his body, that can be thrown and controlled. Humongo Soar He is from the planet Teradino. Humongo Soar is a 12 feet tall humanoid dinosaur-like alien. He possesses great strength and a thick layer of skin that provides vast resistance to injury. He also has the power to increase his own body size and mass growing up to 60 feet in height, he has also proven to be durable enough to survive in space for at least a few minutes. As ultimate humongosaur, he is a larger ankylosaurus-like creature who is 20 feet tall. Unlike his original form, ultimate humongosaur cannot grow at all. He is a green-skinned, armored version of himself with gray horns on his head, arms, chest and back, with a mace in his tail, and his back is covered by a large, spiked shell. His genetic DNA allows him to convert his hands into bio-gatling guns that shoot kinetically unstable bone fragments as missiles as a result of millions of simulated battles over thousands of years. Jetre. Jetre is from the planet Aeropella. Jetre is a manta ray-like alien who has horns extending from the center of the eyes and two wings which are attached to his arms. He is capable of flying and swimming at high speeds, around 300 miles per hour, being able to break the barrier of light, he can shoot neuroshock blasts through his eyes and tail in the form of lasers or a massive explosion. Big Chill. He is from the planet Kilmines, moth-like in form, holding their wings to resemble hooded robed figures. Necrophrygians can become intangible and freeze an opponent in various ways, one of which utilizes intangibility to freeze anything that they pass through. While possessing superhuman strength and resistance to extreme temperatures, Necrophrygians are unable to use their intangibility against opponents with the same ability. As Ultimate Big Chill, he is red-skinned version of himself with flame design on his wings, antennae and around his eyes, which causes his face to resemble a mask, and his voice is more gravelly than normal, having a deeper tone behind it. Chroma Stone Chroma Stone is silicon-based alien with a super-dense skin, his home planet is Petropia. He has several shards of magenta crystals protruding through his clothes. He has great strength, the ability to fly and is indestructible due to his crystal skin. He is also able to absorb most kinds of energy like a conductor and channel it into multicolored laser blasts or less intense natural light. Brainstorm. He is a cerebro crustaceans from the planet Encephalonus 4. They are supermassive intelligent crab-like creatures able to perform several complex calculations and use electric attacks with their pincers or by opening the exoskeleton plates that cover their exposed brains. They also have the power to levitate, create force fields, and cause a storm just by thinking. But their intellect makes the cerebro crustaceans selfish and eccentric. Spider Monkey. He is an arachnichimp from the jungle planet Aranasimia. He is four-eyed, four-armed blue monkey-like alien with the ability to produce strong webbing from his tail. He can be considered Ben's one of the most used aliens. In ultimate form, he is a bulky purple gorilla-like with four sharp spider legs sprouting from his back, and he had lost his tail and his extra arms. In this state, he is stronger and can spit webs from his mouth, in a larger amount, which are very tough and waterproof. Goop. Goop is a polymorph from the planet Viscosia. He is a 200-pound viscous life form, a shapeshifter made of green goo, which is also slightly acidic, controlled by an anti-gravity generator developed by the Galvans, that resembles a small flying saucer, which is where his voice comes from, and also has sharp edges. This device allows him to take any shape and levitate, however, if the ship and the slime are separated by even a short distance, the slime will become inert until the ship recollects it, and also it has a button that shuts off the anti-gravity. Alien X. Alien X is a celestial sapien, native to the Forge of Creation also known as Zvezda, their birthplace, outside the known universe, hidden from everyone except Paradox and whoever possess the Map of Infinity. 
They have black bodies resembling space with tiny white stars, and a white shadow and white hands. With Paradox calling them omnipotent, they can manipulate space, time and reality any little they wishes, they also possesses incredible superhuman strength enough to destroy one planet, superhuman speed and so invulnerable that he could survive from the Annihilard without any problem and more abilities that are practically infinite. Floatstar. He is a biosovortion and has a floating metal head which levitates between his pointed shoulders, which is held in place magnetically, and his mouth doesn't move, has crab-like claws just like the claws on his feet. He has magnetic powers, being able to create magnetic fields and many more. That's just lazy writing. Rap. He is from the planet Apoplexia, resembling large muscle-bound, humanoid tailless tiger-like aliens. In addition, each apoplexian has two retractable claws on the wrists that can generate shockwaves when driven into objects. They are durable to the point of surviving in space for short periods and take a powerful laser cannon blast at point-blank range without even flinching. The ultimate form of an apoplexian is wearing an attire in homage to Kraven the hunter of the Marvel Comics universe. Nano Mech he is a nanomechian and an inch-tall being, but it's worth noting he is drastically different from the source alien, which are bug-like, while nanomech takes more on a humanoid shape. He has a crest-like growth on his head and has the ability to fly with his wings for added maneuverability, which glow when he flies, shoot energy balls from his hands and his eye, and also he is the opposite of Humongo Soar. Aliens in Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Water Hazard. Water Hazard is an Orishan from an unknown planet in the Andromeda Galaxy. He has a red cape-type shell that covers his head and has the ability to blast water from his hands. Amphibian. Amphibian is a blue jellyfish-like alien called an Amphary with four tentacles. He has the ability to generate and drain electricity from his tentacles, can sense the electrical pulses in the minds of other life forms. Armadrillo. He is a Talpaidan from the Andromeda Galaxy planet Terexcava. Armadrillo is a strong armored robotic armadillo-like alien with a head that looks similar to a Corinthian helmet. He has an invulnerable armor that protects him from most kinds of damage, has two jackhammer-like arms, that allows the ability to drill into the ground, or form jackhammers that cause tremors, shockwaves and earthquakes, he can also turn his hands into actual drills, and launch objects from his hands by using hydraulics. Despite all this mechanical appearance, he is biological and the armor and drills are natural. Terraspin. He is from the Andromeda Galaxy peaceful planet Aldabra. Terraspin is a turtle-like alien with holes in chest, and big flat flipper-like arms with retractable claws that can be used as fingers. He blows a powerful wind from the holes in its shell while also using his triangular shape arms as propellers, allowing varied powers such as flying, creating winds and spinning himself at high speed. NRG. He is a Pripyatosian B from the Andromeda Galaxy. NRG is a radioactive energy being with a Russian accent, encased within an oven-like invulnerable containment suit that contains his radiation. When released, he is able to shoot energy beams and can create intense heat, enough to create the intensity of a nuclear bomb. He is capable of becoming intangible, so he cannot be touched except by the material his armor is made of. Fast Track. He is a Citrakaya from the planet Chalibis. Fast Track is a blue and black alien with two mask-like projections on his eyes. He moves at high speed like Exelor 8. Clockwork. He is a Chronosapian, a race of mechanical lifeforms that are steampunk in design and speak in German accents. Capable of travel through time and space, Chronosapians are able to produce time rays that can either age or regress their targets or slow everything down around them. They can display events that have happened in the past by rotating the keys on their heads, which produces a light that create holographic images of past actions. Come Alien. He is a Merlinisipian from the planet Soria. Lizard-like with three eyes, usually each a different color, a Merlinisipian can change colors to camouflage himself with only his shadow visible. He can also grow a spike out of the end of his tail. In addition he is very agile, flexible, fast, slippery, has a great strength, and can also stick to surfaces with his great physical adherence. Shock Squatch. He is a Gimlinopithecus from the planet Pattersonia. They are Yeti-like aliens with great coordination and strength. They have small metal plates all over their bodies that can conduct electricity. Their only weakness is being insulated, making their ability to conduct electricity useless. Eagle. He is a member of an unknown Oryctini species from an unknown planet that resembles an armored robotic humanoid alien with a rhinoceros beetle-like horn and a big metal mouth. 
He has sharp fingers, and in super strength, allowing him to heat big pieces of any material, and has powers similar to Upchuck. He can heat many things, and convert them into powerful laser beams that he shoots from a slot on his horn. Jury Rig He is a one-foot-tall gremlin-like alien able to disassemble and assemble any machinery in quick time, though Jury Rig is prone to manic needs to break and fix. Aliens in Ben 10 Omniverse Feedback He is a conductoid, a humanoid alien that speaks with electrical tone of voice. He can use his plugs to absorb and redirect most kinds of energy by direct contact or from a distance, and he also uses the electricity to grind on electric lines and fly by using it as propulsion. Blocks He is a segmentosipian from the planet Polyominus, whose body is totally composed by building blocks as his name states. His primary power is shape-shifting. He can alter his body structure into any form needed, this includes some regenerative ability. He can also can use his blocks to stretch and build himself. Due to his shape-changing abilities based on blocks, his body is fragile and is easily broken when hit with enough force, but since he can regenerate it doesn't matter whether his body structure is broken or not. Gravitat. He is a Galilean from the planet Kepler. He is a living planetoid alien with a giant mouth and a molten core at the center of his body and has the Omnitrix symbol on his forehead and has the power of manipulating the gravity of himself and others, changing the mass, making it heavier or lighter. While the ultimate form of a Galilean, more planet-like in appearance with three orbiting planetoid-like orbs surrounding him, it is a form exclusive to Albedo. Crash Hopper he is an orthopteran with the primary power control the muscles of his legs, allowing him to jump in a long distance on a high speed, causing a sonic boom. Due to his powers based on high jumps, he possesses a resistant skull, which is used to hit with great impact. Ball Weevil He is a small yellow beetle-like alien with the ability to spit sticky balls of plasma. This foo ball absorbs matter while it rolls, getting bigger and either explodes upon impact, expanding until detonating, or is remotely exploded by Ben, one of his powers as Ball Weevil is making the force of the explosion vary depending the size of the ball. Wakatrout. He is a blue spherical fish-like alien with legs. Wakatrout is also the species name. It has a slippery body, enhanced agility, and is presumed to have the ability to breathe underwater. Pesky Dust. Pesky Dust is a Nimina, a pixie-like alien that can put people to sleep and manipulate their dreams for information. Molestash. He is an orange mole-like alien with an English accent and a yellow mustache that can be used in a variety of ways that include serving as an extra set of hands or as a makeshift propeller. The worst. The worst is an Atrocian, a yellow pudgy alien that is practically indestructible yet can still feel pain and thus ineffective in combat. The worst was what Ben called the form at the time, so it may not be his actually name. Aw, this guy's the worst. Chicken Hawk. He is a chicken-slash-hawk-like combatant alien with a white mohawk-like cone. His powers are retracting talons from his hands and side-like blades from his elbows and using them for battle. He can cut objects by using the blades on his arms and he is also very skilled at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Topic. He is a yellow-skinned ogre-like alien who wears a metal cage as a helmet to conceal his horrific face which induces fear in any who see it, even himself as his own species cannot look at each other for that reason. The Omnitrix symbol is on the bottom of the collar his cage is on, which is connected by chains to a pair of black briefs. Astrodactyl. He is a pterosaur-like alien from the planet Teradino, same as Humongosaur's planet, he uses a propulsion jetpack to fly. Astrodactyl also uses an internalized star power from sonic booms to energy whips. Bullfrag. Bullfrag is an Incursene. The Incursenes are a race of violent toad-like aliens with New York accents, forced to become spacefarers after the eon-long civil war on their homeworld ended a millennia ago as the result of their planet being inadvertently destroyed by Ascalon's power. Besides their extendable tongues, Incursenes make use of their agility and leg strength in a fight. Buzzsock. He is a Nosdenian, from the Nosdean Quasar, commonly referred to as Megafuts. Nozedonians are battery-like energy beings that manipulate electricity, transmit themselves through any electrical source in a high speed and reproduce via mitosis once amassing enough energy. Atomics. Atomics is a robotic humanoid-like alien who uses radiation and atom-based attacks, and is said to be Ben's second strongest transformation, next to Alien X. He can create an atomic blast at a particular area and orbs of atomic energy, and he has incredible superhuman strength and durability. Gutroff. 
He is a purple-skinned alien in a green suit with a clear view of his stomach, which mixes a variety of gases and chemicals that fires from nozzles on parts of his body. While in this form, Ben has a vast knowledge of complex gases. Wampire. Wampire is a Vladat, a vampire-like alien. Doing his best thinking while upside down, Wampire is able to drain the life force of others and use hypnosis and bat-like parasites to control his opponents mentally and physically, he can also fly. One major flaw to the Vladats is that they can be weakened by sunlight. Biometrix Aliens In the Omniverse series, Ben 10,000 possesses a special version of the Omnitrix called Biometrix that allows the user to become a hybrid of two alien forms. The forms were Formangusor, Humangosaur with elements of four arms. Atomic X. The fusion of Atomics and Alien X, it is Ben 10,000's most powerful combo. Big Chuck. A fusion of Upchuck and Way Big. Uprig. A fusion of Jury Rig and Upgrade. Crash Shocker. Shock Squatch with elements of Crash Hopper. Human Goopsor. Humangosaur with elements of Goop. So these are all the Ben 10 aliens. Let me know if you guys want to know about reboot aliens with their Omni enhanced powers. Also comment below your favorite Ben 10 alien. So that's a wrap, make sure to hit like and share button and smash the subscribe button with the bell icon. Don't forget to catch me on other social media for early superhero updates, I will see you guys in the next video till then remember one thing. You are the commissions.